Hello my dear students and viewers, welcome to my channel Scorpio class. In this video, we are going to discuss a class 9, second language English poem, Upa Gupta. It is written by Ramindranath Tagore. So this video is going to be very helpful as you are going to learn and understand the whole poem Upa Gupta. So stay tuned till end, watch the video completely and do hit the like button if you like it. So let's get started and move ahead. But before that, if you're watching my video for the first time, do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get the notification of all such upcoming videos. Now here, my dear viewers, if you are also looking for Hindi lessons explanation and complete notes, you can go to description box and find the link for Scorpio Class Hindi channel and subscribe to it. As this channel is uploading all the Hindi lessons explanation with complete notes and the grammar syllabus, of class 7, 8, 9, and 10. So quickly subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. The link will also be shared in the i button above for your easiness. So let's get started now. So let's start with the introduction of the poet. Let us know about our poet Rabindranath Tagore. He is a very well-known person. He is the greatest of India's modern poets. He was born in an affluent Bengali family in the year 1861. Besides being a poet, he was a novelist, essayist, and a dramatist. Tagore was awarded with Nobel Prize in the year 1913 for his book Gitanjali. He was also the founder of internationally famous institution, which was called as Vishwabharati at Shantani Ketan. His poetry is profoundly and unmistakably Indian. He restates the wisdom of India in verse by mingling love, friendship, and music. Okay, so he is a poor Indian. He has written many books and essays and dramas. He was awarded with Nobel Prize for his book Gita Anjali, and he's also founder of Vishwabharati at Shantani Ketan. So this is a brief history or information about the poet. Now let's move ahead and look at the introduction of the poem Upagupta. So this poem is about the story of a Buddhist monk, Upagupta. He was a disciple of Lord Buddha, means a follower of Lord Buddha, and the dancing girl of Mathura Vasavadatta. So this poem is a story about monk Upagupta and a dancing girl of, of Mathura whose name was Vasavadatta. Now Vasavadatta was a famous and beautiful dancing girl. She was proud of her beauty, youth, and her wealth. Upagupta was an ascetic, an epitome of kindness, wisdom, and selflessness. Ascetic means a religious follower, a very stern religious follower. Okay, so he was epitome, an example of kindness, wisdom, and selflessness. One dark night while walking, Vasavadatta stumbles over the body of Upagupta, who was sleeping on the dusty ground. Okay, so in this poem, we are going to read about the story of Buddhist monk Upagupta and the dancing girl Vasavadatta. On her way, Vasavadatta, she stumbles since she struck up with the body of Upagupta. She dashes him because he was sleeping on the dusty ground, which she did not notice. And Vasavadatta, she was a very famous and beautiful dancing girl. She was very proud of her beauty, youth, and her wealth. So let us read what happened in this poem. Okay. So we'll read stanza wise and understand it. So Upagupta, the disciple of Buddha, lay asleep on the dust by the city wall of Mathura. Lamps were all out, doors were all shut, and stars were all hidden in the murky sky of August. So here, Upagupta, who's the disciple of Buddha, who's a follower of Buddha, he was asleep. And where he was sleeping? He was sleeping in the dusty city near the wall of Mathura. He was laying down on the ground and it was full of dust. It was near the city wall of Mathura. Mathura is a place of a city. Now, lamps were all out, doors were all shut. So it was late night, all the lamps were off and the doors were shut because all people had gone to sleep. And the stars were all hidden by the murky sky of August. And even the stars were all hidden by the murky sky. You can see the cloudy sky which was found in the month of August, which is usually found in the month of August. So even the stars were not visible. They all were hidden under the clouds, dark clouds. Okay, next stanza. Whose feet were those tinkling with anklets, touching his breast of a sudden? 
He woke up startled, and the light from a woman's lamp struck his forgiving eyes. Now, when he was sleeping, a feet dashed. Was it was having a tinkling anklets. Now, as this girl Vasudeva was walking, she was wearing anklets in her legs. Now it was tinkling when she used to walk. It used to give a tinkling sound, and this feet with tinkling anklets it touched his breast all of a sudden. Means she hit him on his chest while he was sleeping down because she did not notice him. Now he woke up startled. He was shocked, and with a, suddenly, with a great surprise, he caught up. He woke up to see that there was a light from a woman's lamp. A woman was standing over there who had dashed him. She was having a lamp in her hand, and the light was coming from it, and it struck his forgiving eyes, and she could see his eyes directly, and it was visible as if it's a forgiving eyes. That means that person is going to really forgive him. He was so kind and simple. So this was the scenario here. Okay, now moving to next stanza. It was the dancing girl, starred with jewels, wearing a pale blue mantle, drunk with the wine of her youth. She lowered her lamp and saw the young face, austerely beautiful. Now it was this dancing girl who was starred with jewels, who was wearing completely with jewels. Her body was full of jewels. She was also wearing a pale blue mantle. Mantle is a sleeveless shawl, you can say, or a shawl to cover your body. So she was wearing pale blue mantle and drunk with wine of her youth. Not drunk with wine of her youth means she was very proud of her youth, wealth, and the beauty she had. Okay, so that that is why it's written drunk with wine of her youth, and she was very proud of her youth. So she lowered her lamp and saw the young face. And it was austerely beautiful. It was simple but very beautiful face. Then, forgive me, young ascetic," said the woman. "Graciously come to my house. The dusty earth is not fit bed for you." The young ascetic answered, "Woman, go on your way." Okay. So when she saw saw this beautiful face, she started asking forgiveness. She said, "Forgive me, young ascetic." As it means a religious person, a, a strict follower of a religion, so he, he she is asking for forgiveness. Forgive me, young ascetics, and graciously come to my house and please come to my house because this dusty earth is not fit bed for you. This is not the place for you to sleep on a dusty earth. Please come to my house. So the young ascetic replied. He gave an answer that were men go on your way. Then, when the time is ripe, I will come to you. Suddenly, the black knight showed its teeth in the flash of lightning. The storm growled from the corner of the sky, and the woman trembled in fear of some unknown danger. Okay, so he said, "Oh, when you go to go to your home, go your way, and whenever the time is right, whenever it is the correct time, I may come to you." Now, as soon as the conversation went on, there was a black thunder, flashing of light on the sky, and it started with a Huge storm. The storm growled with a great noise. The storm started from the corner of the sky. But the woman trembled. I mean, she got fear of some unknown danger. Maybe some disaster is going to happen. So she was too much fearful at that time. And then she just moved away from there. She went to her house. A year has not yet passed. It was evening of a day in April, in spring season. The branches of the wayside trees were full of blossom. Gay notes of the flute came floating in the warm spring air from afar. Okay, now after all this happened, now it was not even a year that had passed from August till April. Okay, now it's April month. It is the evening of an April month. It's a spring season. The branches of the tree are full of blossoming flowers, and the flutes coming. Ah, uh, the flutes noise can be heard. A warm spring air is coming. You can you can just imagine the air during the spring season, and along with that flute noise, the sound of the flute is also coming from far aside. So when he hears this beautiful music, this notes, this musical tune, he tries to follow it. Where is it coming from? Okay. So the season was very good. So Upagupta passed through the city gates and stood at the base of the rampart. Was that a woman lying at his feet in the shadow of the mango grove? 
so he wanted to see listen that voice so he followed that and he went through the city gates and he stood on the base of the rampart the rampart is a border wall which is which is made in order to safeguard uh, your your place your area or your house you can say at the fence you which you make to pre, uh, to protect yourself your area okay your house you can say so that was a rampart that is known as rampart a border line a border wall you can say so he stood on it and he started saying and as soon as he went near that wall he saw he crossed that border and he saw he noticed something that the woman was lying at his feet near the shadow of a mango grove means there was number of mango trees and there in the shadow of it he saw a woman who was lying just near his feet because he was standing over there struck with the black pestilence her body spotted with sores of smallpox she was hurriedly driven away from the town to avoid her poisonous contagion the ascetic sat by her side took her head on his knees okay now this woman who was lying at his feet near that mangrove of uh, forest mango mango trees now he noticed that this woman is having black pestilence all over her body now black pestilence is the black mark which comes to some infectious disease and she was also spotted with sores of smallpox she also had smallpox marks in the body throughout and she was hurriedly driven away she was thrown out from the town by the people in order to avoid her poisonous contagion she was thrown out of the city from the town because the people thought if she is in the town the poisonous contagion contagion means the disease which can be transferred from one person to another it may also catch the other person so she was driven out she was thrown out from the town and the border area border of the town outside the town now this ascetic when he saw when he saw this woman he sat by her side and he tried to keep her head on his knees and then moistened her lips with water and smeared her body with the sandal balm who are you merciful one asked the woman the time at last has come to visit you and i am here replied the young ascetic okay so after keeping her head on his knees he just gave a little bit of water he put it in his mouth in her mouth and then he also applied a sandal balm throughout her body and after helping like this so because he was so kind he helped this woman then this woman asked who are you you merciful one like how can you be so merciful nobody is touching me they have thrown me out of the town who are you merciful person that that kind person who is helping me she was not able to recognize that he is the same ascetic man whom she had asked to come to his to her house okay so she asked the she asked the ascetic who are you merciful one so he replied the time at last has come to visit you and i am here replied the young ascetic So he is remembering, recalling everything that the woman had called me. So he is answering. Now it's the right time, the right time, the correct time to visit you. So I'm here. He replied because you were calling at that time, and there was no need of me to come and help you or visit you. But now you are in need. You need some help. So this is the right time, and at last I have come to visit you. So I'm here. And this was the answer replied by Asadi. So this shows his helpful nature, the kind nature. So here we. Come to an end with the poem. I hope you have understood each and every stanza of the explanation. If you like the video and understood it, do hit the like button and share it with your friends. And do stay tuned for more such videos and for the answers of this poem. Do subscribe my channel, Scorpio Class, and Scorpio Class Hindi. Thank you.